Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm super excited. We're taking a look at an awesome rear kitchen, really big but still lightweight fifth wheel. This is a 2021 Forest River Impression Model 270 RK. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this fifth wheel and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews, Tobles. It's the world's only channel, giving you the three things we love and the three things we don't love about every RV that we review. And again today, I am super excited to be taking a look at one of my favorite brand of lightweight fifth wheels, the Impressions. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey Will! Hey guys! How's it going? It's going good. I really like these impressions a lot, so I'm glad that we're hitting as many of them as we can. Yep. It's just a good, lightweight, something with different interior colors and all that, so. Yep. I think you guys will like it as well. And if you guys haven't seen our top five awards about a month, a month and a half ago, uh, the impression, this floor plan, won number one for 2021. So I'm really excited to see what they did with a little bit more space. Let's begin. Model is 270 RK, but the actual tip to tip length of this fifth wheel is 32 feet 11 inches. The dry weight is 8,957 pounds. And well, the tongue weight? 1,510 pounds. 1515, Will. 1515. Right. You said 1510. Did I? Yep. Oh, sorry. Wah, wah. We've been recording for about a month straight. So <laughs> uh, right up here, we do have a nice painted fiberglass front cap. It is stickers and decals right there, but the white is paint. And you do have a nice windshield right up there. Right here, we do have our Rhino box by Lipper Components. Very nice pin box right here. And right here, we do have a little bit of storage underneath here. It is not prepped for a generator. Now this does have four point electric leveling, okay? Uh, right here, we do have speakers on the outside. If you do want to have TV on the outside, you can do that. And right there, we do have some pass-through storage. You do have a nice, huge power awning right there. Very nice. Oh, and Will, check this out. You ready? Yeah. Look at this. You got a beer opener oh. in there. Psh, America. Hell yeah. And then right over here, we have nice slipper component solid steps. Nice grab handle right here. And it does have the extended season camping package, which means it has a heated and closed underbelly underneath. Coming down the side here, we do have a big, big slide out right here. And then look at these tires. Well, they're the good years. Endurance, I love those. ST225-75R15. Very nice. Coming around the back. It does have a hitch rated for 300 pounds of vertical weight. You cannot tow behind this fifth wheel. Right there, you have a place to store your sewer hose. Very nice. And it is prepped for a Furion backup camera. And Will, where could somebody get a Furion backup camera? Off of our link down in the description below. Furion has partnered with Matt's RV Reviews to give you guys the best deal. So if you need a Furion backup camera or side cameras, when you use our link down in the description below, it helps support the channel and it gives you, it's, uh, there's a custom code and graded in there. So it gives you the best price in America on a Furion backup camera. And it's cheaper to buy directly through Furion rather than a third party. That's so right. if you need a Furion backup camera, use our link. And it's the best way to support the show. Sure is. We thank you guys. Yep. Finishing up, 50 amp unit. That's where the power cord is. Uh, looks like that's where you dump one of the gray tanks. Oh yeah. Not bad. It's not. Not, not good, not bad though. And then good, this is good. Here's where you yep. dump your sewer. Very easy and nice to get to. I like that. You have your water heater right here. What did it just beep for? Oh, uh, what was that, the camera? I thought. I think that was the jump box. Oh, okay. And then right here is the other side of that storage with your uh, water heater and everything. Not water heater. With your city water connection, fresh water connection, satellite, outdoor shower and everything. And then here's the propane. Very nice. Oh, well. You know, one time I almost caught a fifth wheel on fire here. Did you? Yep. Well, well, the outside of this fifth wheel looks great, but it looks even better on the inside. Let's go take a look. All right. <laughs> Man. All right. 
we'll start up front. Up front, here's the bedroom. And the bathroom right here. Coming down, you have your living space in the middle and your kitchen in the back. This we did review this. No, we didn't. Because I remember this is my dislike. Oh, well, let me see the camera. Tell everybody what you want to say. That I was right, you were wrong? No, you were wrong <laughs> and I was right. We have not done this unit yet, but we do need better. We do need to keep better track after, uh, but we'll do that. Let's get started right here in the living room area. So right over here, I love this, okay? First, we'll show everybody that tall storage right All over right. here. All right. Really big, storage really nice. Top. Yes, sir. And here as well. Yes, very nice. Uh, you do have a little window right here. And this is a trifold, and it does come out to make a bed. Really interesting, really nice, really comfortable. I like the colors. Right over here is our theater seats, okay? Oh my gosh, I love this. You have theater seats, it is very comfortable. Again, something to remember that it, this is a small fifth wheel, but it still feels super big and spacious. Oh look, you oh, got wow. lights, did you see that? Yeah. When you double tap. Very nice, another cup holder here, a remote holder here. And, and there's then, plugs in there, I think. Yep, and then across is our entertainment center. Now here's what's very important. You ready for this? Yep. Furion. Furion, Furion. Furion, 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 Furion. Wow. Not the AC units. But here's why that's so important. We'll go over why it's important at the end of the video. Okay. But I love that. One, because they're the sponsor of the show. Thanks, Furion. And two, because it is a big deal, but we will tell you a little bit more about that towards the end. Nice big screen TV there. You got storage over here, a sound bar right there and then more storage right there. And then you do have the Furion fireplace, 30 inch. And then look, you even have some storage underneath oh, yeah. Good place for shoes or something. And then the dinette's what I really love, okay? Because I love this. You have this ottoman bench seat, right? Which you can bring out over there and use as a recliner. And then you put the skinny members of your family over there, honestly, and then the bigger people over here. So like, you know, you know, for an example, if it was me, uh, Will's wife, and Will, me and Will's wife would sit right there, and then Will would be right here, so he'd be comfortable. He'd have plenty of space and everything. You do got the little tabletop extender, and it's pretty nice. Nice big windows, and I like this uh, light fixture. Well, Will, it's now time for the MSRP. You ready for this? Yep. MSRP on this fifth wheel here is not bad at all for a fifth wheel. $55,536 MSRP. Sale price, as you can see right there, we don't currently have a sale price, but doesn't matter what the sale price is, was, or will be, we will be able to get everybody in America an even better sale price than what it would be. Will Tell everybody how to do it. They can call, they can text, they can email, they can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962. Or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. Or even better, go to the website mattsrvreviews.com. There you'll see a contact me tab with three choices. If you're ready to buy this RV or any RV, click tab number one, that takes you to general RV and somebody from my team will get you the best price in America. If you have questions on this fifth wheel and you want to talk to Will or myself, perfect. Click tab number two, we will get back to you within 24 hours, or if you have just a generalized fan question, perfect. Click that third tab and we will still get back to you, maybe just not as fast as the first two options, but will. It doesn't matter if they click tab three, two, or one, what's the one thing that every tab has in common? They're gonna get the best price in America. Will, let's continue the video. All right. All right guys, so the nice thing with rear kitchens is just all the counter space that you can work into them. I don't know what it is about them, but they always have really nice big kitchens. Yes. So we'll start over here with this nice Furion. Oh, this is actually a compressor fridge. Of course it is. I thought Furion. it was a... Furion does RV. all the electronics the best. Yep. So nice compressor fridge. It's already super cold, and we've only had it hooked up to the jump box for a few minutes. Got some storage up top here yes, on sir. both sides of the Furion microwave. Oh my God, that's another 23 cents, Will. <laughs> Which Keep is over top of the Furion range hood. Furion! 
nice big window here with a little blind. Yep. Um, Very nice kitchen space and everything. Yep, and a decent backslash. Good counter space on both sides. Of yes. The Furion three burner range with lights. Nice, uh, 23 cents. Nice Furion oven. oven as well. Yep. And drawer for your pots and pans below. You got a drawer on this side. Drawer on this side. Storage on this side. And storage on this side. Very nice. Right behind us is very nice lights there. Hey, well, those lights look Art Deco. No. Oh, okay. Um, but you do have nice counter space here on the island as well with a nice single bowl sink and a little spray thing. Mm -hmm. Got some drawers here. Very nice drawers. And some storage underneath. Okay, good storage. Yeah. Then over here, oh, before I forget. Oh, look at that. That's a chalkboard thing, I think. Oh, yes That's it cool. is. And then a nice pantry here and they even give you the little the buckets. Bucket things. Very and nice. There's a light in there. Really great storage here. Over here, you got some nice storage up top here. Yes, sir. One more here, and it's all passed through. It's a nice taco it's a nice bar right taco here. Nice taco coffee bar right here. You have Very power, nice. nice window. Got some drawers. And some storage down below. Nice. Right there. Really Close. great storage, especially again. Can't tell you about how small and how lightweight right. this fifth wheel is. It's kicking butt and taking names. Right. Now it's now time for the tall test. All right. So I love what they did here. There's almost no stuff to get in here, which Perfect. really helps with the height. Because that almost failed. Yeah, but over here, I mean, failed. almost. But you have enough room over here to, you know, shampoo your hair and whatnot. So it works. Man, that's very, like if they brought that up an inch, then it fails. Yep, exactly. You have your fan right there. You have a Madison cabinet over here. Very nice. A little sink, a little vanity area. And then storage underneath there. And then the toilet. And then porcelain. Better be. Yeah, it's, it's porcelain. porcelain. Shoo! Will this is a prime poop position. Bing! Very nice. What a relief. We've had some. We've what had a relief of, it is. About of non prime pooping positions. Oh. Here, you should go ahead and shut the door. Inside the master bedroom, look at this. The bed's lower, so it's a lot easier for somebody like me to climb in. Will surprisingly has decent headspace. It does slope down yeah. a little bit. And then show everybody that storage there. Storage here, Very same nice. thing on that yep, side. Yep, with the baskets. Yep. You got oh. the little side tables, little storage underneath. I like how you have power and USB yes. there. And again, I love this front windshield. That's a huge thing for me, guys. Uh, I'm a huge fan of that. The TV does go right there. And then, wow, Will, this is prepped wow. for a stackable wall. Is, is it, it sure is? Is it? Yeah, because that yeah. says dryer vent location. Prep right for a stackable washer dryer. Oh my gosh. I love that. And it's their storage underneath the bed. You know it. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Yep. Very nice. Okay. Well, Will, that's it. That's the review. That's the um, impression. Now, before everybody leaves, it's now time we give you three things we love about this fifth wheel and three things we dislike about it. Will, what are we doing first? Three things we dislike? Yes. Okay. okay. So remember the last impression we had a very hard time? Yes. I do have three dislikes if you don't. I don't have any yet. Okay, move on down. Okay. Let the adults through, Will. Here we go now. So again, last time we did the impression, it was very hard. So I was really trying to be a stickler on this one to figure it out. Number one, the carpet and the slide outs. Do not like that. Never like it. I really don't like it for here because it is so light and bright. Right. So if you drop uh, tomato soup or ketchup or red wine or something red, it is 100% going to stick out in the carpet here. Yep. That is one. Two. I don't remember my number two, but I do have a number three. Two. I wish that they put the awning on the slide out right here. Right, two awnings. Yep, you do have a really nice awning on this, but you have all this space with no awning. If they would have put the awning on the slide out here, it would have it would have really knocked it out of the park. So that's two. And then three, I think three wasn't here. I forget what number three was. 
But I think it was this. Man, I was thinking. I think it's the countertop. I feel like what they could have done here is they could have made this solid surface countertop. Right. And it would have blown everything else out of the water. Yeah, I agree actually with that. You know. It would have added more weight, but I think it would have been worth it. But but the whole thing is this this unit isn't half ton towable really. Right, you it's already, already need pushing a three, that limit. Three quarter ton. Right. So I, I think it would have been really nice to to make this solid surface. It yep. would just would have been oh not that much more and it, and it would have been nice. Great, so that's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about this fifth wheel. You ready for me to go first? Yep. So we talked about it earlier, the Fury on everything. One, we love Fury on because they sponsor the show. But two, um, no disrespect, I don't give a crap about Fury on or Magic Chef or Sam Sui or this brand or that brand or Dometic or any any of the any of the um whatever they're called. Parts manufacturers. Here's the deal. If it's a TV, the sound bar, the fireplace, the refrigerator, the microwave, the range hood, the oven, these things break in RVs. And it's not like you spend an hour and a half with Furion to then say, oh, well, you have, no, you have a Furion range hood, but it's a Magic Chef oven. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's all one manufacturer to deal with, which does happen to be the leader of RV appliances, but that's not the point. It's just one manufacturer to deal with when it comes to any of your appliances. Yep. That makes it so simple for ease of ownership, and I really do love that about this unit. Yep, I couldn't agree more. So that's one. Two. Two, I'm gonna say up here. Even though this is a small, lightweight fifth wheel, they still got washer dryer prep in here. Yeah. That's awesome, you don't usually see that. Yeah. Even, you know, some mid-profile fifth wheels don't have washer dryer prep. It, it, so. It's great, I, I really well, like it. It just is a mid-profile, but this is yeah. a lighter weight mid-profile. Yep, exactly. It's kind of like, you know, like it's in between almost. Yes, one of the lightest weight fifth wheels out in the market today. In three, I'm gonna combo it, because we're running out of stuff. I love the rear kitchen, I love the countertop space, I love the way this looks. I love the light colors. I love the gray tone. And I just love how they were able you to- love the impression it makes. It's a great impression that it makes. It sure Man, is. that's a plug. <laughs> great, so that's it. That's the review. If you guys could do me a huge favor, leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like about this fifth wheel and three things you don't like about it. The more people to comment and smash that thumbs up button, the more people YouTube likes to promote us to. If you guys have any questions about this fifth wheel, Please call us, text us, send us an email. And if you're in the market for a fifth wheel like this, in a few seconds, we're gonna have a video that shows up right here of direct competitors to this. Also again, actually on the bottom, we will show you the top five lightweight fifth wheels for 2021 because our impression not only made the list, but it, it won the class. Will, do you have anything you wanna say? Sure. Yeah, so I really feel like Forest River was listening to the customers in this case. Yep. And you know, a lot of times with manufacturers, you don't see that happening. So make sure to let them know down in the comments below three things you like, three things you dislike, so that they can make further adjustments accordingly. Perfect. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. Will, we'll see you next time.